guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install CyanogenMod 10 to your Nexus 7 device. Uh, before we get into the installation guide though, I just want to do a quick review of this ROM. There's not really much to it. It's still in its unofficial status. Uh, right off the bat you can see that that um, Jelly Bean, the Project Butter, is very much incorporated into this build. This is a Jelly Bean ROM. Um, this is still totally incomplete. CyanogenMod team has not even finished progress on CyanogenMod 9 and they haven't really begun work on CM10. This is in the very early stages of CyanogenMod 10. This is in no way official. Uh, so that being said, we're going to move on to the review. We'll go into settings and about tablet and we'll look at the version. Uh, it is Android version 4.1.1 so that is Jelly Bean and it is CyanogenMod uh, unofficial grouper version 722. So this is the latest build, the latest nightly. Uh, like I said, it's not even in beta yet. It's still in nightly versions. Uh, so there is no stable ROM for this yet. Uh, but it is fun to play with this. This is one of the first real custom ROMs for the Nexus 7. It's always nice to have options. And this is one of your options for now. So we'll look at some of the customization options. If we go into interface, we have lock screen. We still don't have theme chooser yet. Uh, like I said, this is a very early build. Theme Chooser will come, I'm sure, pretty quickly. Uh, security, you can change your uh, lock screen wallpaper. You can change whether or not you want weather displayed, your calendar, and you can change your slider shortcuts. So you have a few to choose from here. It looks like we have a total of five. So we can just drag and change to any application. Select OK, and then hit Save up top. And let's see, now if we turn it off and back on, uh, we can go straight into talk from there. Another one of the customization features here is in the system. Uh, we have status bar changes. There's not a center clock for this yet. Uh, you can change the AM and PM style. Um, so if you wanted that to be displayed small beside it, you could have that like so. Um, Battery status style, you can go either the, the default icon, you can hide it or have percentage. So far, more will be added in the future. Um, and then, if we go back, we have the notification drawer. So we can add power widgets. So if we pull down the notification drawer, you have your power widgets here. Uh, we can choose the buttons that we want to be displayed, and there's pretty much any toggle that you can think of in there. And that is about it for customization. We have some performance customizations here as well. You can mess around with the processor. You can go with, uh, there's a few different governors there to choose from. You can change your max CPU and your minimum CPU and you can choose to set those on boot. Uh, you can also, there's a memory manager and surface dithering. Other than that, that's pretty much everything in the settings that has been changed. Uh, we do have DSP manager that's included and the Apollo app is included as well. Dev tools are there. And I think that is about it. Um, looking around, it looks like that's pretty much everything that has been changed with this ROM. We can add some custom wallpapers uh, by going to the CyanogenMod wallpapers. And there's several to choose from there. All new with CM10. Okay, you guys, so we'll go ahead and move forward to the installation guide. Uh, now, you'll have to be rooted, obviously, and you'll also need Clockwork Mod Recovery installed or Team Win Recovery Project installed. Um, and then to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery, you won't be able to do any button combination. You won't be able to boot into Bootloader and uh, get into recovery from there yet. You can either flash through ADB by uh, plugging in your tablet to the computer and typing ADB Reboot Recovery. You can do that, or you can go to ROM Manager. And this is the free version. And then just click Reboot into Recovery. It doesn't matter if you're on Clockwork Mod Recovery or Twerp. It'll reboot into either one of those. Select OK, and then you'll have to allow root permission. And then this will boot me into twerp. So as soon as this comes up, there's just a few things that we need to do. Now, first of all, you want to go to the link in the description. Be sure that you have, uh, go ahead and download these directly to your tablet. Download the CyanogenMod 10 file, and also uh, you'll need the ICS G apps. I'm sorry, the Jelly Bean G apps, which are also there at the link in the description. Um, so what we'll do is go to wipe, and we'll wipe uh, system, sw swipe to wipe, then we'll go to cache, swipe to wipe, dive it, cache, swipe to wipe, and then you'll go to install, 
and you're looking for the CM10 unofficial grouper, so go ahead and swipe to install that. Once that's finished, you'll go back and swipe the Jelly Bean G apps. Uh, the latest version is from 717, and those are all at the link in the description. When that's all finished, we'll go to reboot and reboot the system. Now, all of that installation takes about five to 10 minutes. Um, it really installs very quickly, especially on Team Wind Recovery Project. So, uh, you guys can find me at droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. And also, you guys, um, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We'll be giving away one of these Nexus 7s. I'm waiting on Google to send me a new one. Uh, one of my originals was broken when I got it. The screen had the lifting issue that I'm sure some of you guys have read about. Um, but anyways, guys, this has been Signage of Mod 10. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Like I said before, subscribe uh, so you guys can be notified when that giveaway is announced. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you in the next one.